I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Monday, June 27th, our scripture is from the 140th Psalm. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from those who are violent, who plan evil things in their minds and stir up wars continually. They make their tongue sharp as a snake's, and under their lips is the venom of vipers. Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent, who have planned my downfall. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me, and with cords they have spread a net. Along the road they have set snares for me. I say to the Lord, You are my God. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplications. O Lord, my Lord, my strong deliverer, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further their evil plot. Those who surrounded me lift up their heads. Let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. Let the burning coals fall on them. Let them be flung into pits, no more to rise. Do not let the slanderer be established in the land. Let evil speedily hunt down the vile. I know that the Lord maintains the cause of the needy and executes justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name and upright shall live in your presence. Word of the Lord. Supplication. Give ear, O Lord, to the voices of my supplications. Verse 6. Does God save us from enemies only if we were worthy and beg earnestly? In his 1520 Freedom of a Christian, Martin Luther wrote, Without any merit, example begging, on my part, my God has given me in Christ all the riches of justification and salvation, although I am unworthy, condemned sinner. Amazing. Yet years later, as he, as he lay dying, he wrote, We are all beggars before God. This stark statement echoes the psalmist's words. Give ear, O Lord, to the voice of my supplications. God has promised us wholeness without condition. Yet we cry, please do. It seems that the terrain between those two powerful realities is the field on which theological discourse is played. I struggled on that field. It was life-changing for me when I was introduced to God's free and undeserved grace. Nothing I do can make God's love me more or less. What about that? I beg you. I believe I am called to recognize God's grace every day. Then respond in discipleship. I beg you, O Lord, help me remember this. Our prayer. I'm on my knees before you, thankful for your gift of grace, O God. Raise me up to follow your Son, Jesus. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.